Scorpio, hi. So uh, this is going to be a reading for mid-October 2019. And uh, I'll be starting off the reading with two oracle cards and then the reading. And then I'll be closing it off with two more oracle cards. So let's pull up one here. And so you get one from the Spirit Animal Oracle and one from the Soul's Journey. Let's see what you get here. Uh, you get the Parrot Spirit. Watch your words. And Abundance. I am limitless. I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. So... On a personal level, watch your words, and uh, I do get that um, it'll your reading will probably touch on some financial aspects here. But let's see. Um, let's see what's happening for Scorpio. So the overall energy here for the reading is the Ten of Cups. Now this is where um, this is where you're trying you're trying to take things here into this Ten of Cups. All right, you're trying to achieve this happiness. This is your goal here, pretty much. You know, uh, because currently you are going through pain. You're going through some heartache. Uh, you're going through something that's not the best. It's being crossed by burdens here. By Of course, it's going to bring burdens. If you go through life in pain, through you know going to work and things like that, yeah, it's, it's going to feel heavy. It's not going to feel pleasant. You are going through this heartbreak, apparently, for um, mid-October. And your focus here is to put something behind which tells me that you're trying your best to put this pain behind you to work through it and to heal it and to just you know leave me alone I got my own life to live let me let me be happy uh, you know broken heart go away um, in your recent past here you get the nine of Pentacles I do see you working on yourself you know um, feeling more independent more stable um, trying to reach this stability within yourself pretty much you know um you are being pushed through this by a strong connection here uh with the lovers coming up and coming in for you for your immediate future um you will feel successful in something um Huh. Supporting you right now is this Page of Swords. You, you still have determination. You're still uh, willing to push forward to keep on going, pretty much. Uh, this does talk about spying a little bit. So uh, that could be on your part, on your person's part. It could be social media. It could be anything. Um, the energy that surrounds you, and you may not even be aware of it. You may be, you, you may not even see it. You do have happiness around you. There's something in your life that makes you happy. You're just unable to see it yet. Uh, for now, at least. Um, you're holding on to something. You're refusing to let something go here, which I feel like it's this connection, this coming back together, this coming together with somebody that you love. All right, uh, let's start clarifying. Let's do this Ten of Cups. Okay. 
Yeah, when I looked at it the second time, I was sure that was going to come up again. Uh, yeah, this connection, this happiness, this family life, this whatever it is that you had uh, in your mind happening brought you a lot of pain. So this connection here that looked stable and happy, it brought you a lot of pain. And um, I kind of get the sense that this connection ended uh, with this Wheel of Fortune here. Things changed. And what this tells me is like, it's time now for you to start taking care of yourself here, you know, nurturing yourself, um, building yourself back up again. If this was the case here, if this connection ended and it left you um, sad, broken hearted, this is the chance for you to start working on you. This connection is kind of pushing you into this direction. Let me see this Three of Swords opening up the reading. So Scorpio, you're showing to the world, even though you're broken hearted, you're, you're hurt, all right? It hurts deep down inside. You're showing to the world that, yay, I'm happy. I got rid of this connection. Now I can look at a thousand options. I can choose whichever option I want because I'm finally out of this. And what you're doing, I feel like you're, 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 you're focusing a lot on work. And uh, you're trying to put this image out that you're good. I got it. Nothing, nothing can touch me here. You know, my heart is untouchable. Uh, it's working fine. I just don't care about this person. And I feel like you do. I feel like you do. So let's do the Six of Swords. So let's see what you're putting behind you. Yeah, this person, uh, for you, this person was the one, all right? So you can show up as, I'm good, I don't care, I'm not going to believe you, because this person is looking here, is telling me in the cards that they were the one for you. That's what you thought. And you're trying to put them behind you, and you're not giving them credit for what they were, you know? By putting it out there that this person is crap, they're not. To you, they're still not. You're still looking at them like that. So, you know, um, you're trying to, it's hard, it's hard work for you to actually recognize this person for what they are and um, also putting them behind you. For you, the notion to put this person behind you is to actually uh, take in all the credit from, from, you know, discredit them for what they are. Uh, and it, it doesn't have to be that, you know, this person can still be the one. It's just things don't work out sometimes. That's it. You know, because this is creating why I'm saying that, you know, you can do whatever you want with this. But it's creating a lot of confusion, a lot of energy that you don't need, you know. Let them be whoever they want to be. And if you need to move on, move on. But it's creating a lot of confusion for you doing that, you know, trashing this person. So, let's do the lovers. And your strength there. Yeah, there was love here. You love this person. I feel like they loved you too, but you love them a lot and I feel like you still want to show up in their life with love but instead you've decided to take a little bit of time for yourself and um it's making you miserable the fact that this connection probably ended it's it's making you feel like crap here right you're not the happiest camper let's see the six of wands here in your immediate future
Scorpio, you get this energy. Uh, I know a lot of you hate me already, but this is what it's looking like in the cards. I don't care if you hate me or not. I'm just going to say it anyway. Um, look, look at what you're manifesting. Look at what's happening. You know? Um, you're showing up here like... Hey... I'm the best, I, I, I'm doing this and that, and this person sucks. And uh, you're creating a lot of conflict, a lot of deceit, a lot of things. I feel, I feel vengeance here. I feel vengeance on your part. Now, again, do it. If you feel like that's right, by all means. But, does it make you feel good? Does it make you feel... Or is this just one of those things where you get mad for being hurt and you want to take it on this person and then you know it's temporary. You know that in two weeks, in two months, in two years, you're going to feel like crap about it. You're going to feel guilty. You're going to feel this and that. Uh, put that into balance, you know? Because what you're doing here, there's this energy of getting back at this person somehow, you know? It's not, it's because I don't feel in your core you're actually, oh, I want to, mm. uh, but you're doing it because you got hurt. This is your defense here. This is what, what you're doing to protect yourself. However, I'm going to ask you again, does it make you feel good? Because it doesn't make me feel good feel, feeling this, what you're going through. So... I don't know. I'm getting a lot of that. Mm. I'm going to get you. Why? Isn't it better to take care of you at this point? I don't know. I'm just saying. All right. So let's see. Let's see this page of swords. Um, hmm. Somebody left. Somebody left really, really fast. Something happened. Some sort of an event happened. It might be related to this Page of Swords. Somebody may be... Uh, maybe they figured out that... I don't know. You were watching their Facebook page obsessively. I don't know. I'm giving an example. Uh, but somebody found out about something that you did and they walked away and they walked away really really fast like that and it brought this tower moment for you in your life you could have been dealing with an earth sign maybe a Taurus here but they left they left because something happened in this connection and they left fast so they you know they left you in this energy of trying to figure out first and then just Going after them. Kind of like, oh, you left me? Okay. Okay. Wait for it. You know? There's a lot of vengeance that I'm getting here with you. Let me see the sun and the hidden energies. Yeah, this person uh, was your happiness, you know? But there are many, many things currently that you don't know about this person because I feel like currently you're not communicating. Um, yeah, the, the secrets here, the things that you don't know are kind of making you more mad, pretty much. Let's do this Four of Pentacles here. Let's see what you're resisting here. Yeah, you don't want to let them go. You don't want to let this connection go. Deep down, you're like, nope. Refusing, refusing, refusing to let this connection go. This is very powerful, very strong connection. Uh, there's you showing up here. You don't want to. You don't want to let this connection go. You don't want to let go of resistance here of... No. You're refusing. All right, you're like, no, no, I don't care what they want. This is what I want. And I'm not letting them go. 
pretty much, you know. Let me see this two of cups in your potential outcome. Yeah, there's still, uh, if you do get together with this person, there is going to be communication here. And it's just going to be around this topic of I feel confused why the hell did you leave why did this happen why do feel um, do things feel so hard why this why that uh, there is a little bit of clarification coming in um, in a communication in regards to the two of you so you will come together eventually and talk about this whole situation currently though you're hanging on to this mm, kind of energy so be cautious with this one because, cause, you know, again, do whatever you want. But you're only harming yourself here. That's the only issue that I got with this. You know? Uh, let's pull up a final card from the universe here for you. You're, um, all you want to do right now is take action towards this person, all right? And all you should be doing is start to heal yourself because, yeah, you are sad about how things happen. And you're just, uh, the more you do this, the more you get into this energy of doing things, um, going to this person, doing things for them to notice you or things like that, the more you sink into this energy of sadness and because things might not happen even though you're doing all of this, you know? And the universe is telling you be patient, balance things out before you move into action and start working on this and take a step back and just, just do you for a while, you know? It doesn't have to be about this person because right now it's all about them. You need to turn that attention towards you and take care of this, of you, of this sadness here, of this heartbreak, you know? Focusing on them will not fix that, will only increase it. So let's pull two more Oracle cards here for you to close it off. Again, one from the Spirit Animal Oracle. And another one from the Sacred Traveler. All right, so you get the butterfly spirit. Transformation is beautiful. Yeah, that's, yeah, it is. You just can't see it now with this energy. You can't see it, but it is. It is. You get a number 11 here. Um, and you get from the sacred traveler, you get narrow pathway. Tread thoughtfully. So, you know, when you do have these moments of mm, try to breathe, step back, and try to work with that. Don't act on it. When you feel like you're vengeful or you're, you know, you got the first card, watch your words. When you want to say things, when you want to do this and that and that, try to step back from that, you know? Because that's just your impulse, your reaction to being hurt. And you don't want, I don't feel like you want to act on that because you're going to be sorry later. So that's what I have for you, Scorpio. Sorry, you're, you're going through this crap. But don't make things worse for yourself. All right. Um, see you next time. Bye.